I'm Anina Widmer um, and I'm responsible for the horse racing part of White Turf for the organization. At home, I'm a vet. I did win four sprint races, but that's um, 19 years ago. It's, it's a special feeling to, to ride up here. The atmosphere is great and um, the feeling the horses are very excited and, and the sprint race was a little bit shorter at that time. It was 1100 meters, now it's 1300 meters. And it's just so fast and the snow is flipping back. It's just, it's a great feeling. Um, what we do with the horses that run up here, um, my trainer always says it's a secret how we train them. But I have to say, we train them like if they run on turf, no difference. We do feed the same feed as everywhere or whenever they run. Um, the good thing is horses coming up here, they usually eat better than at home. <laughs> they, probably the cold and the altitude makes them eat. Um, of course, we have the special shoes on. They are put on on Friday before the race. Um, and my horses have the protection on the eyes. And the challenge is to bring a horse up here. Um, of course, the journey. <laughs> Either you take the tunnel with the train, you can go with the lorry on the train but still then you have to drive up here in the mountains I mean there's snow on the roads so the journey is not that easy from Italy they couldn't come last week because the roads were closed um, then of course the horse um, needs to adapt to the altitude or he has to cope with it you never know if the horse copes or not I have to admit I have rarely seen horses not coping so, of course, we're all cold now, a little bit standing on the frozen lake. But um, if you're in Zurich and it's minus two degrees and it's foggy and wet, I think that's as, as bad or as hard as if you're up here and it's really cold. And usually the trainers, they don't take their horses out until maybe nine or ten o'clock until the sun comes. And I think that even the thin air is it's not a problem for horses. With the lungs, it's known that arterial blood pressure is higher in altitude, which would maybe mean there's more um, pulmonary hemorrhage. But studies has, have also shown that there's less on altitude. And we know from last 20 years that horses that sometimes bleed at sea level, they don't bleed up here. So I think they cope really well with the climate, the cold and the dry air. Some trainers say, oh, it's good to come up here and they have high altitude training and then we come back to sea level and they win. I think um, the horse's limit of performance is the capacity of the lungs. And it's not the transportation of the oxygen and it's not the oxygen delivery to the muscles. So I think it's useless as the horse has a spleen um, store, which stores the red blood cells and they can distribute more red blood cells during race. It's useless to increase that capacity which already is um, high and is, which is not the limiting factor. So it's, I think it's useless to do high altitude training for horses or give EPO or cobalt or whatever. Um, but there are different opinions. For, even for the trainers, the trainer where I have my horses is the Swiss champion trainer and the horses only come up on Saturday and they go home Sunday night after the race and then the next weekend they come up and go down again, not to adapt them to high altitude. We had the experience that horses that came up and went down again, they um, managed afterwards to run during the whole season. and. I know some other trainers that stay up here and they always say, oh, they have a little decrease in performance maybe two months after racing on snow. So there's different opinions. <laughs> I cannot tell um, if a horse likes soft ground on turf that he likes it up, soft ground up here. Last year we bought a horse for the Grand Prix and he likes soft ground and he could absolutely not manage the ground up here on the Grand Prix day because the ground was a little bit it wasn't it was soft or heavy the ground on the snow can change from hour to hour 
and it's never the same. That's a little bit the difficult <laughs> difficulty up here because um, if it's warmer, the ground is softer. If it's colder, the ground is a little bit faster. If we have more snow, last week we had 70 centimeters from Friday to Saturday. So, and the snow had to be compressed. It depends a little bit also on the preparation, but more on temperature, so it's never the same. And you cannot say a horse that runs well on dirt will like the snow, because you never know how it is. It can change from the first race to the last race. It, it can change already. Very difficult to say which horse likes which ground. I think it's difficult to say a horse that likes deep ground on turf or on dirt will like it up here. You just have to try out. <laughs> uh, the new stables were built. Um, the stable belongs to the community of St. Moritz. And uh, as you know, in Switzerland, you can vote for everything. <laughs> and the people from St. Moritz, they vote, voted yes. So the community spent three and a half million Swiss francs to rebuild the stables. They were quite old. Um, so we have um, bigger stables, bigger boxes. Um, it's more light. Um, you cannot open the windows in, in St. Moritz, otherwise everything freezes. So we have the, uh, the air circulation, which is newly done. Um, we're ha very happy for that. And it's not only for white turf, it's also for snow polo and for uh, the winter show jumping. So we're very happy that St. Moritz <laughs> gave us this new stable.